Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to a video where I unbox and talk about the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. The fact that I'm making this video might surprise a lot of you because I had said for the longest time I didn't plan on getting the Maxwell series of GPUs on their release day and technically I'm not getting them on their release day. I'm getting them a week and a half later, but it's close enough to getting them on the release day. I had planned on waiting until there were water blocks widely available, but EK did come out with a line of water blocks for the GTX 980s and they began shipping them on the 26th of September. So I placed an order of two nickel plated water blocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the GTX 980. Here's the packaging that it comes in from Gigabyte at least. You have the graphics card itself wrapped in an anti-static bag. Then you have a piece of cardboard that has a bunch of adapters, quick start guide, and a driver CD that I am going to punch some holes in. A question to my subscribers, will 22, will Subsonic 22 crack a CD? So that's the big question of this video. So what does the Maxwell series of GPUs give us relative to what's available right now? Well, for one, this is the most competitive price point that NVIDIA has released a flagship GPU since the GTX 680, I believe. The GTX 780 came out at $649. The GTX 780 Ti came out at $699. So releasing these GPUs at $549 makes AMD kind of tremble because the whole point of the AMD line of GPUs is to be competitive at lower price points. And I really like the game that NVIDIA is playing. They can just leapfrog AMD with a more efficient and a more price competitive GPU whenever AMD seems to be up to something big. Performance wise, the GTX 980 should do about 20 to 30% better in games than the GTX 780, depending on the resolution. Higher resolution obviously yields better performance with the GTX 980 because the emphasis on new GPUs is on being efficient at higher resolutions. 4K is becoming a lot more mainstream. And relative to the 780 Ti, you probably only get five to 10% better performance. It's not that big of a jump from the 780 Ti. This card does have four gigs of video RAM on a 256 bit bus. It comes clocked at 1126 megahertz, I believe with a boost clock of 1226. And what else is there to talk about the 980? Oh, the cooler, yeah, you've seen this cooler before. There's nothing special about this cooler relative to what's on the Titan 780 Ti 780, um, GTX 690 kind of. So yeah, you've seen this cooler before. But it does come with a backplate, and I believe this is the first NVIDIA reference card to come with a backplate with this cooler. I might be wrong. This is my first Gigabyte Electronics product. I usually get EVGA graphics cards whenever they're available, but I jumped on the GTX 980 train way too late. I had been thinking the entire time since they were available for order, I'm not going to get it, I'm not going to get it, I don't need this, I don't need this. Ooh, there are water blocks, okay, I will get it. So with water blocks available, it made my decision a lot easier to get these graphics cards. I don't think I'm going to get another MSI graphics card. I don't know about getting another MSI electronics product, but MSI mishandled the GTX 780 Lightning so badly. You can read about the GTX 780 Lightning on the overclock.net GTX 780 Lightning owners thread where they only gave the um, overclocker version of MSI Afterburner to reviewers and the reviewer samples were extreme engineering samples. Obviously all graphics cards manufacturers give samples of their graphics cards that are review samples that are better engineering samples to reviewers but the version of the MSI Lightning that they sent to reviewers as well as the version of the software of Afterburn was just really nothing that resembled the car that actually came to market. So I think MSI mishandled the launch of the MSI GTX 780 Lightning really badly and I am very hesitant about purchasing another MSI Electronics product. But moving on, the cooler is significantly shorter than the MSI Lightning's cooler. Uh, I will be making another video where I talk about 
the benchmarks of the GTX 980. I'm going to be using the GTX 980 in SLI in my um, on my test bench system because I don't have the water blocks to put these graphics cards into my main system yet. Um, what else is there to say about Maxwell? Um, okay, more efficiency, more power efficiency, um, probably better clock speeds. I hope that Nvidia doesn't put us on handcuffs in terms of overclocking because previously when overclocking the 780 and the Titan and you had to make a custom BIOS or you had to use an override utility to um, override the locked voltages on those cards. Gosh, what else is there to say about the GTX 980 and GM204 Maxwell? Well, there's also DSR, which is more efficient super sampling anti-aliasing. Uh, there's also MFAA technology, multi-frame anti-aliasing technology, which is, again, more efficient anti-aliasing. It is game stream optimized. I don't have an NVIDIA Shield, so... I don't need to worry about that. It is NVIDIA GameWorks optimized. Okay, well, everything is NVIDIA GameWorks optimized. Um, G-Sync ready? Well, I don't plan on getting a G-Sync monitor anytime soon. I'm still happy at playing at 144 hertz 1080, occasionally 5760 by 1080, and occasionally 3D, NVIDIA 3D Vision when it's optimized. Uh, what else is there to say about Maxwell? Gosh, uh, I think I've come to the end about talking, oh, it's going to be DirectX 12 optimized. Yeah, and it also has voxel technology, um, which is a combination of volume and pixel, which is, in layman's term, more efficient light rendering and global illumination rendering to make for more realistically lighted scenes at more efficient resource usage. So I really run out of things to say about the GTX 980. I'm going to give this Gigabyte card a spin. I'm going to put these two cards on my test bench, run some preliminary benchmarks, and wait until the uh, water blocks from EK come in. They're shipped from Sylvania, I believe. That's where EK is located. So thank you for putting up with me, and I will see you next video.